I have a feeling we probably won't get through the entire second episode. <laughs> How so? If the if it's longer than the first one, so I guess it depends on if they made them progressively longer. Do you know? No, I just know it was episode. If it was two or three, or there was one of the episodes in the middle that somebody I heard a couple comments saying that it kind of dragged. Ah. That there was a lot of just sort of wandering back and forth talking to people. There wasn't a whole lot of gameplay in that particular episode. I gotcha. So it'll be interesting. Okay. Starved for help. This should be interesting. Should be good. I know who you are. Oh, I got another big one for you. Why did that other scene come before this one? You've been all by yourself through this. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. So now, is it gonna show Doug getting eaten? Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it takes game, your it takes your own gameplay clips to make the previously. I don't give a shit about what happens to you. That's good. I was curious if maybe that would go the other way. Yeah, how they would if they had like different trailer type things for each decision. So it probably this the previously is probably made up of set of different significant scenes and it just inserts whichever scene you happen to cause into that. Right. That would make sense. <clears throat> Three months later, what am I? Oh, hit zombie. Okay. I hit a zombie. You're using the forbidden word again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> walkers. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Who's he? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Who's he? <sighs> I still can't Some believe we've been in the commissary for <laughs> three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. What yeah, are we talking about? Maybe you should tell me who the hell you are. I have no regrets. And what the, what's this about opening the door? Mark? Okay, Mark. Who are you, Mark? No kidding. Where'd you come from? When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting it now. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking like, I feel like I've been thrown into middle of, in the middle of something. See? Nice ringtone. Thank you. <laughs> Kenny won't abandon us. It is a special guest on several, several things, and I forget to put it on vibrate. 
Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <clears throat> he's just an old <clears throat> racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Part problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know I Lily really want to know who this Mark weaker. character the is. All muscle. He's a the what character? Pilot. This Mark character. No, I wouldn't. Want ah, to yes. Who, where did he, he come from? In the face one time? They oh, expect you to know, flat. apparently. They just tossed him in out of nowhere. And I was like, three months later, I'm out hunting zombies with this guy that apparently has been with us for the three months. I have no idea where he came from. Who would he? Oh, we can have Crow. Shadow bring walkers. Birds not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. There's moss. <laughs> Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Run. Have it's no okay. idea. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to me, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. You gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry! Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, look. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. I think he's gonna scream. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Okay, see, I've I've already seen this, so I know what to do. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything. Let's go. Let's go. It has to be now. Ouch. Alrighty then. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think this actually does anything. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Is he He passed out. He's free. <laughs> He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Where do all these zombies come from? It's like they all have sonar. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Seriously, don't these people defend themselves at all? <laughs> that, was, that was my problem with the last two choices, you know, you have to make between saving the two people. They were doing nothing to try and defend themselves. 
It's like they see the zombie and then they freak out and don't do anything. That's not how ball physics work. <clears throat> you need to have a signal. if we left him so what we are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across we have to focus on our group right here right now well hang on we haven't even talked to these people yet maybe they can be helpful come on lily these are people people try I'm to survive just like what us. are this We've what is this smart guy where did he survive? come from the only reason you're here is because you had food enough for all of us oh that food is that's why gone. we've got maybe a week's worth left so apparently some guy with food came along. Um, no. Indeed. You guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family. At least they said something about that. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. Guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Burn. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Okay, well, you get none. <laughs> Four food items for ten hungry people. Well, you give it to the kids, obviously. Am I supposed to be doing something? Maybe not. I assume distributing the food. So I have two crackers, an apple, and the bag of beef jerky? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? 
Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blaine, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, when you're well, in a freaking zombie apocalypse. Can, Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I really wish this game had a camera. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. But you've okay, been but here the I've whole time. Take care of some things. Why don't you go <laughs> to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. By the way, what happened to all my energy bars? Hey, Duck. Um, the food. The walkers ate them. I mean, it's three months later. You probably oh, went yes. through them. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. I know that guy can be a little dick sometimes. Why would I want to get him food? Giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Well, now obviously you give the food to the kids first. Well, you got the girl. The three, there's three new kids, right? Um, no, there's this, there's this frat boy and his teacher. You got the two kids, the reporter lady, the um, Larry and his daughter, which are lovely people. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I. I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are but nothing. She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Let's see. You have a heart condition, so shouldn't you... Wouldn't you be sort of a parasite? <laughs> you ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Why don't I get to overrun. see this? Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told me? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, 
I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You get back to work? Uh huh. Look at fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Uh, what else can I look at? I can look at the soccer ball. The kids have something to keep them occupied. Yeah, a soccer ball. <laughs> I'm sure that's just thrilling. Why can't they move? Not a fan of these fixed camera perspectives. Yeah, it seems like it, it'd be a real pain in the ass. Because whenever, whenever you want to look at something, you can't because the camera isn't positioned in that specific direction, so you have to work around it. Words get mad that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Why is he cuddling a pipe? Look, you've been good to me and my family. <laughs> You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Coos does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. Yeah, I get on an island. The zombies can't swim. Family. Is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? <laughs> Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. Ben the man Paul. you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Which was nothing. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. This seems to be a theme for this game. You did what you could. Oh, she still has her walkie-talkie. You need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. So next time we come to a soda fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. We're also starving. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. We've been looking. Keep an eye out. Fine. So I got another cracker and some jerky. Three months, woman. It's time for a new plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What does he have to say? Uh. 
Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Okay, so why don't you and your daughter just go out on, on your own? <laughs> <clears throat> Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. So now all I have left is some cheese and crackers. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay. <clears throat> so women and children first, then the people with the best shot. <laughs> so she was a pretty good shot, so she gets some food. Yeah. And luckily it's one of the women. <laughs> yeah, so you look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Oh, well, thank you. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay, so I'll give you some food. Since you Here, get to patch up this guy. <sighs> why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I already gave him I need food. Space, Lee. Okay, fine. What a bitch! I already, <laughs> I already gave him some food. You have a viewer asking why this isn't full screen. On the Twitch thingy? Yes. Um, that's my fair use border. <laughs> <laughs> my, my meager attempt at keeping the YouTube copyright bots at bay. Which so far has been successful at, any, at everything except trying to put ads on the show. They still won't let me do that. But at least they don't try to take it down. Which is always nice. You tried to get ads on Twitch or YouTube? YouTube. Because oh. when I cross posted to YouTube, nine times out of ten, they won't let me put ads on it to try and make any money. Well, don't you have to be partnered for that kind of thing anyway? Not anymore. Um, they let they let everyone put ads to try and make money now. Um, I think there's some. If you're like really popular, there's a, another level of like a YouTube partnership. But they released a lot of the partner features to everyone now. I did not. <clears throat> I did not know that. Yeah, so you can now choose your own thumbnail image. Um, you can monetize your video with pre, post, or mid-roll ads. You can do all kinds of stuff with it now. Just sort of cool. Okay, so I can't give food for anymore. So, Katya doesn't want it. Do I give it to Kenny, the frat boy, Lily, or her jerk of a dad? Huh? 
I think it depends on what uh, what she said, you know, if you want to get in with her. I'm not sure if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> see, if, see if he'll take it. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The others noticed that you fed Kenny. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Why am I looking at the floor? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're Duh. out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're How about going to you? talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. This guy's just here to give you a hard time. Man, <laughs> Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? What the heck? Where's my cursor? Where's my cursor? What? You are dead. I might even have a cursor. <laughs> oh, man. Where? Okay, here's. Oh, I have to tap the A button. Now you tell me. <clears throat> Where? What? Oh, I have to. Slam him into the thing. Shit, it's stuck. At least he doesn't have a leg. Ouch. Why didn't you turn around? Shoot it! I was wondering if that trap was infected. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Oh, boy. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's going to happen to all of us. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and So it's Becca! airborne. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. 
course, neither do we. I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run setup. on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple of gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So Andre with Doug would have been a good a, a good really a shot food? with a gun. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots Indeed. of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Yeah. <laughs> time, you might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I'd kind of like to know what happened to... I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? That's debatable. Lily runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You it's... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shoot me down. Another you trap? Out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this And it's... Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? More. He ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you until something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you! Wow, Jesus. really? The that many bullets. The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Did you shoot him in the brain? For a second there, that looked like a loading screen. St. John Family Dairy. 
<laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Kind of not going to want to touch it. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow on good things. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? What is all this with the leading stuff? Lily, <laughs> it's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. So it's that like, as soon as we get the zombie apocalypse, all that matters is who's leading who. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Take fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? This no, smells like a trap. Veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny, why don't I head back Danny looks like a creep. Up everyone for the trip over here. She I does. I can lie. Can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Yeah, she's a reporter. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure well, out... Well, you brought almost half of it. Us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal. Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Is the gate electrified? Ooh, I got my axe back. bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. I don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, so I'm going to chop down this tree. <laughs> what? Man, that is weird.
I mean, when you have a fixed camera perspective like that, pre pressing a diagonal um, direction doesn't exactly do what you think it would do. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Uh, look at picket fence. Oui. Sand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picket fence. It's supposed to be pointy. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size. You're carrying an axe. Kinda think that mode would work. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Now, if this was a Wii game, I would have been shaking the Wii remote to... What did you just put that in his back pocket? <laughs> <laughs> he totally did shove that board into his back pocket. Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Okay, what else am I supposed to look at? Outlet. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Storing gasoline all over the property. <laughs> no, no one's a smoker, right? <laughs> the board is good, but I need some rope. There isn't any rope. Food they've got in there. Hopefully, we'll find out. So, we got a pointy fence, a big house, still no rope. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling <laughs> hot when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Don't worry, I have my axe. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> so how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? We can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Just making sure. Oh. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Yeah, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, Hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Oh, he took the fence down, too. <clears throat> really? It's burnt right into its hands. <laughs> they fuse together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. <laughs> Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids. It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Ooh. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee. If you're uh, waiting fine. for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Nice. There. Oh, Mario Party time. What? Yay, Mario Party! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down, you asshole! Jesus! Who is who the? Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Excuse me, who are you? You assholes! Did you really think you could fuck with us? Get closer! I think you have this mistake with someone else. Oh, come on, I moved the thing. Hey, Rex! We have 
Oh boy. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. You got lucky that time. You already said that. Oh, come on. One. How many of those things did we push down? Oh, crap. Ah, uh, you give me my hand back. Ouch. Oh, come on. You cannot crawl that fast with your arms. <laughs> oh. It's the monkey. Let's get out of here. Does it yelling. look like y'all were giving me the all clear? <laughs> Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? Oh my lord! Bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Yeah, there would you, you mind taking it out? Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are no you gonna kidding. be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning and killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. We'll get our rifles Candace, ready. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Unless one of them has a flamethrower. Find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. That. Take this place <laughs> over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while they're gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. Really? That's real charming, Dad. I've noticed. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope you kids like swings. I, I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. 
Thanks. Any Just stay away from We're the fence. So do we have closed that gate? Because now the bandits can get in. Minor issue. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. I wonder if I can climb up onto the roof of the barn and jump into that. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that an invisible wall? Yeah, it's an invisible wall. Hey, Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. What, are you going to carry it on your back? Who's... Oh. Lily and Larry. Sitting on the porch. Where's my cursor? There's my cursor. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? For some weird reason, it's like I'm watching this on Twitch. Why? It's still late in the hangout. Oh, huh. Usually it's not that big of a delay. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? More or less. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it would be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Oh, I can't talk to Larry. Look at Gazebo. Why? Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Ooh. Another invisible wall. Gotta love those. Should count how many invisible walls are in this game. Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Hmm. Pointy. Yep. Still pointy. the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. <clears throat> I never did find her hat. Yes, yeah, she forgot about it. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? 
Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. <laughs> Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? <laughs> Not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so too. Thing, the worry. thing about a zombie Same apocalypse. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clint. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> I don't know about that duck. <laughs> <laughs> Sid? <laughs> yeah, Sid. <laughs> Fellas, how you feeling, mate? Fellas. Uh, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> yeah. What they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight <clears throat> back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell you look yeah. a little too happy about that. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out Walmart. there and find their camp? We'll go in a few minutes. Just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sir, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. Oh, I guess I already talked with everybody. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon for the time. Please be lucky. I will. I have a feeling they would probably see you here. before you would see it's them. Be close. Soup can. Here. <clears throat> oh shit, you found it? Don't stand up. Sneak up to the... I thought we were just doing reconnaissance. Why are we sneaking into the camp? <clears throat> you see anybody? They're all hiding in the boxes. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. This isn't reconnaissance. Okay, I'm watching your back. Who's watching my back? Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Yuck. I don't need that. I guess you have it. You have it. Shh. 
Empty, empty. Why did he? What? Why did he push the box? It looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One from kids. Shopping cart. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. In the first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. I'll pass. Look at the boxes are just save lots. <laughs> AKA Walmart. Yeah. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. And a camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. I already looked at the tent. There's Indeed. bottles. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Ooh, a cooking pot. Just water. seen anything Looks like they expected to be here a while now why would you just camp out in the middle of nowhere seems like the absolute worst place to be Bloody bunny. Oh, man. Jesus. Is a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. And a photo. Jolene ain't going back. Hey, Excuse we me? had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. Excuse me? I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, Insane. it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? We have guns. You have a crossbow. You have a right through your eyeball. Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. 
Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> I think you're a little no, insane, tell lady. Him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind, but... Oh. Bam! God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still. What a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Take the crossbow, though. You know, we really shouldn't threaten two guys with sniper rifles when all you have is a crossbow. Clearly she was uh, insane enough to not care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it was just one guy and a sniper rifle, maybe, but two guys... Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? You're not going to get Jesus both of them with a single crossbow. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. Oh, boy. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like a lot of tension with y'all, huh? To put it lightly. They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time. But you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend. She looks a little creepy too. She and the kids are in the barn. She really does. That woman is a lassie. Her eyes. I don't like her eyes. Man, does he keep everything in his back pocket? Absolutely. Hello. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. <laughs> you really like that gun. What's not to like? You are creepy it's just a gun that's where you're wrong this is charlotte she's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket okay you guys are pretty out in the sticks here hard to find you get many visitors not anymore bandits of course used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time 
How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. He is really creeping me out. <laughs> Clementine or hat. I gotta say, I'm not really feeling an attachment to these newer characters. No, definitely not. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Just says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what an answer. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yep. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep, it's a barn stall. <laughs> yep, no, no zombies in here. Wait, I'm supposed to look in all these stalls? It's weird. Are they hiding something in here? I want to play in the hay. Let's stay close to your mom for now. Okay. His voice kind of reminds me of Sid, too. Yeah, that's really it. I mean, <laughs> the look, the voice, everything, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I just have to make sure we don't give him any toys. No, he's got he's got them somewhere in the barnyard. He's going to blow them up. Or throw them on the electric fence. <laughs> Ooh, I can go all back. Oh, uh, maybe not. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. Called tractor equipment. Paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, the guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Why don't you smash ask me. them? And what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Who's your head, Kenny? All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Why don't you go ask him? <laughs> hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? 
No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. What? Uh... See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I thought, I thought that was Danny. <laughs> Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Yeah, what's behind the door? <laughs> Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. He's a lifesaver. You got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Too bad I don't have a screwdriver. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. What? Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. Oh, hey, can I give Clementine her hat? Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor end who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. That's an odd question Thanks to for ask. <laughs> You're welcome, Claire. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She has an odd train of thought. That she does, but she's a kid. <laughs> so, oh boy. How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh boy. I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Um, so let's see. I could jump off the top of the barn into the hay bale. <laughs> um, <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Oh well, yeah, why not? <laughs> Works in real life, doesn't it? What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. These people have the 
Bioware problem of moving too much while they talk. Indeed. How do you feel about <laughs> leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. We also wouldn't have any food. After we get it, <laughs> I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. I do kind of need a screwdriver, though. Unless he just is gonna take that axe and hack it off. I was like, why don't they just ask him what's in the barn? Oh, so I mess with the generator. That sounds like a smart idea. Turn off the zombie frying generator. Multi tool. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. <laughs> of course. Let's see if the picket fence is still pointy. Yep, still pointy. I think I should take my axe and make it not pointy anymore. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. Charmer. You've been getting along with her. <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, um, don't, no. <laughs> don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on it. He is an army guy. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting. I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. Your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters crying against the fence before too long. So obviously I'm supposed to turn off the generator to get um Andy to come out and try and fix it. But I have a bad a feeling that I could backfire badly. <laughs> No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. <laughs> that is true. Very good point. <laughs> Gas keeps Bring on the walkers. And the <laughs> yeah, no more bills. <laughs> I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. Clue us about this stuff. Yeah, you did try to use a universal remote on a combination lock. <laughs> <laughs> Though he does know how to put batteries in a radio. That Carly That's true. Got points over that one girl. <laughs> yeah, the Miss Carly on the other hand and all she understands is a gun. Which is odd since the other lady is the military one. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, 
panel. Power switch. Power switch. Yep, that's a power switch. Access and that's an access panel. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. You say I need a screwdriver? Yeah, for the access panel. Oh. Um, so I don't know if I want to do that. We didn't stick it in some zombie's head. He still have one. Well, no, I got the multi-tool thingy. Problem is, the second I turn off the uh, the electric fence, then the zombies are gonna come rampaging through. Hey, Problem. Hey. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. I've picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Maybe not. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff, even with the fence. Alrighty then. She looks skinny. So I'm seriously going to have to turn off the generator, huh? Larry now. So Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? <laughs> Seriously, dude. He's never gonna stop being a jackass to you. Watch yourself, Lee. No, he's not. <laughs> oh wow. Ooh, I can look at the cornfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that if we sabotage the generator so we can look inside the barn? on your mind, Lee. When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. Really?
looks like that bill's driving the uh whatchamacallit. <laughs> the whatchamacallit. <laughs> Okay, so this is how this is going to go down. I'm going to cut the belt in the generator. The power is going to go off to the electric fences. I'm going to start sneaking into the barn, but before I can get anything, or as soon as I get the door open, the zombies are going to come. And since the electric fence is broken, then we're going to have to try and fight them all off. Somebody's going to get killed. I'm um, probably have to pick between two people. We're not going to get dinner. And we're going to end up either on the run, attacked by bandits, or back at the motor inn. So. <laughs> Interesting prediction. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I'm a writer, so I sort of have a pretty good idea how these things are going to play out. That, that's if they follow the cliché route. Right. <laughs> there. That should do it. Oh, you're just going to put it in your pocket? Countdown to zombie invasion. I guess at least he didn't cut it, because that would look really suspicious. Well, I'm not sure where it would have thrown a belt to. Oh, and there's the dinner bell. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay. Oh, I have to unscrew all of them? What's behind the door? A and new car! <laughs> and behind door number one? Just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Yeah, good. So... <laughs> okay. Either that's where they chop up the cows to eat, or they chop up the farmers oh, 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 to eat. Brenda, you are wow. an angel. Time for dinner, and you guys are the dinner. Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and ain't been back inside since. Everybody, sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. 
And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all. Why is there a wire? Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Wait, I'm controlling him now? That's weird. in the closet. Power cord. What the hell? Hmm. Careless. Smart. Something is looking some very fishy here. Recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? See, they trap people in their house. What do they need morphine. so much morphine for? Up here resting. Farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Is that blood? You can make a lot of noise pushing that out of the way. Behind door number two is a dead mark or zombie mark. Mark, what the hell happened? Uh, brothers, what the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. I knew it was it. Clementine. I figured they weren't supposed to eat anything. getting cold. What? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. Oh, he would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better. You're all sick. Sick in the head. 
Please, that's not a very nice thing to imply. <laughs> that's not a very nice thing to eat, people. Andy is right. We go after folks who were going to die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Hello. Almar turned into a zombie, right? Excuse me? You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Because I am Superman. <laughs> I, I have to do everything. <laughs> Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Yeah, door's too solid. Please settle down. Oh, I'll rip your goddamn head. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> dude. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? What is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. I did. You must really <clears throat> hate me. I don't recall that. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. Do you want to live? Okay, we got pallets. Nope. No such luck. They're not going to open the door. No kidding. Don't want to know what kind. Shelves. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. To what? Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, 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 Easy. Dad? Oh boy. No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? 
Luckily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. And in a few minutes, oh boy. I'm stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back. Leave. Morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No. God damn it, Kenny. He's not dead. Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on. We Neither know this is guy's he. not going to make it. <laughs> Remember what Ben said. You gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. Why is it always the brain? On this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Uh. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting what? all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're freaking worthless, Lee. Ouch. It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Too much salt will kill you. Nice achievement. Is it over? Yes, for now. We still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? <laughs> uh... How about your walkie talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? She is going to be Way one out? seriously messed up kid. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we still gotta get out of here somehow. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> okay. Ooh, air conditioner. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Yeah. Don't the get the thing over there and climb up it. I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi tool. Of course they took it. Shit. I was gonna Maybe say. We could use. I've got a rock. Ah, rock will do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Oh, but I think I know someone who has twenty nine cents in their pocket. <laughs> if we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. And I don't think he's going to be needing them. I'm sorry, Lily. Well, come on. I know Larry had like 30 cents in his pocket. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're going to get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but back at the motor end, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. Yeah, he's what got like 29 cents. My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. 
Do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he's in? The pants pocket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just guessing here, but... <laughs> Other pants pocket. Okay, here we go. Coins. And a dime. So sixty cents. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. You know, I've never, I've never known coins to work very well for screwdrivers. Up, we don't have all day here. I'm going as fast as I can, dude. <laughs> well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I would say Clementine. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. How can they hear her through the meat locker? Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Oh, so now he's gonna be a jerk. Hey, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. We're good, okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Seriously? This room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Ooh, that could come in handy. And a sickle. Oh, so I can only have one. So let's see, I can have a cattle prod, a sickle, a hay hook. I think it better be sick. Seriously, they keep stuff in jars too. God, what's wrong with these people? You think they're from um, Fallout or something? <laughs> Ooh, I like 
like the cattle prod. Just zap them. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Yeah, that's a good way to get shot. Ooh, there's a gun. Outside the bar. Oh shit. Just go in the place like you said. <laughs> Sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama said we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. We want to keep and kill the rest. And I'll get what you want. Not the kid. We must meet on the trail. This is like freaking fallout. Oh, I know, mother. This is what's he doing now? Part two. When I let one think they can just walk right out, and never leave me up there. So What's he doing? They're the ones making the traps. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act what I say. Let's see what he's doing now. Hello. Yeah. What? Ah. Stupid cursor. Well then. You are dead. Oh, come on. That should have knocked him out. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, you sure helped. I grabbed the gun. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like you didn't kill Jolene! You don't have what it takes! This is not how the world works now! You won't make me kill you! Stay here and keep Clementine safe. Be right back. Stay lucky. Taking Charlotte. Oh, did I grab his gun or something? Come the zombies. Oh, look who came back. Carly. Me? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys 
guys have been gone way too long. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep the fence isn't on. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. <laughs> Stick Good close. girl. And Lee, be careful. Her brain, however, she does leave home without that. <laughs> Frequently. <laughs> Oh, really now? Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. What? Ah, oh, great. Lee, get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, did ya? Go, Brenda! Please! Please, don't you take another step! Brenda, come on now, you know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! Fine, but we would like to take the rest of us with us. Okay, so I guess I wasn't supposed to try and stop her. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let her go, Brenda. So what am I supposed to do? Wait, wait, don't take another step. Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. I don't have a gun. No oh. There's a lamp over here. So, what? There's nothing to highlight. Stop right there, I mean it. Do I have to wait for her to point the gun back at? Gotcha? Maybe? Oh, what? I told you to stop. I told what? You. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I told you to stop. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to cut it off for tonight. It's getting a bit late. Ah, it's getting so good. <laughs> I know. Alright, dude. I, I, re I really want to play through it again, doing a couple of the different choices to see how much of a difference it makes. Right. See if it's one of those games where it's just, um, insert this here based on whatever decisions you do. Alright, makes sense. <laughs>